That must be the pie. Hello everyone, welcome back to my cooking show. I wasn't planning on making a video today, but I just decided last minute we'll make a special edition. Now, you might ask, why is this episode so special? And that is because today I will be making a pie for my father's birthday. Instead of getting a cake from outside, I thought maybe I should make a pie instead. So I looked through my fridge and I picked something out. The ingredients you're gonna need are Now it's not only ingredients that you will need for this dish, but also equipment. So, you are going to need a handy dandy pie dish. Pie dish, preferably with a removable bottom. And you're also going to need a rolling pin. Okay, so we are in our overhead view. What you're going to need to make the dough is the 250 grams of flour, your 50 ml of water, 125 grams of butter, room temperature, and one egg yolk. So I'll take the flour and just lay it out on the table here. I have to make a well and this is where we are going to add our butter, eggs and water. And just for an added bit of taste, take a little bit of salt and just add a pinch. It's not very much, just one pinch. So now we have to separate the egg whites and the egg yolk into this glass and the egg yolk will go right in the middle of our well. So we have our egg yolk here separated from the whites and you just put it right in the middle of your well. Next step you add the water and you just mix. Just mix with your fingers. It's okay if it gets messy because this is what you're gonna have to do with the recipe. Just add the butter. Just add some flour where it is so you can solidify it. And you should just really squeeze with your hands while adding flour a little by little. You want to go very slow with this. Trust me, it is gonna get messy, but like the bread, even if it does, eventually, as you keep on applying pressure, you'll be able to do it. It'll be able to stick to itself and become great pastry. As you can see, it is binding together a little bit more now. The more I squeeze, the more the butter is sticking to the flour and making this consistent dough bready like texture and it's supposed to be crumbly like this so don't worry so i hope you can see it's already starting to form a little bit just keep on mushing it add a little flour So there will be some excess flour, as you can see the dough is quite big now. It's supposed to be yellow and very crumbly. It shouldn't be elastic at all. 
Look at that, very crumbly. Focus. I can just do that and it's falling apart. So that's a sign of a good dough. There is some excess flour. So with the scraper, just scrape it off, put it to the side. So what we're gonna do is just mash it all together just a little bit more until you can see no visible amount of flour anymore in the dough. Okay, so it looks about ready. Very good, very yellow, nice color. So what we have to do is shape it just a little bit. We're gonna let it proof just a little bit and press it down and wrap it in some cling wrap. So as you can see, the tabletop is pretty messy, but that is fine because we are gonna have a lot of time to clean up. We need to let this proof for two hours, okay? So we're gonna take this and put it in the fridge for two hours. Two hours later. So we have let the dough rest for two hours and right now we've taken it out of the fridge and just to let it cool down, we'll leave it just to our side for 30 minutes. And within that time, we can make our filling for the pie. So, let's take our apples, cut right in half. you don't want really just put it on the side okay it's time to mix our other ingredients and make this filling the apples have been cut so we'll add our sugar let's use a ladle to mix just a little bit just to get them well coated. Now, originally for this recipe, you're supposed to have a mix of white sugar and brown sugar. But I think using just white sugar is going to do the trick. I'll add flour and melted butter. Always get from the bottom. Sauce always seeps through to the bottom, so always get everything. Every ounce covered, every single apple covered in that sauce. Okay, that's our filling. Right now, let me just clear this up and we'll be rolling our dough. So we have finished making our fillings, so it should be time to roll out our dough. So let's take just a little bit of flour, sprinkle it on the table, just a little more. Okay, flour our workspace. Put it on and put more flour on top. Okay, just pat it down. Turn it quarter, pat it down again, one more time, one full rotation, pat it down, and we're back. Okay, so time to roll up, down, once it gets thick, going long ways, Turn it around and do the same so you don't have to always change your hand, just stay in the same motion. Okay, 
you have not yet, you have to grease your pie dish first before you put it. Of course, you don't want anything sticking. So, I have my stick of butter. I'm just gonna grease. So what I did with the dish was apply a little butter just to oil it up so it won't really stick and also apply some flour so that also won't stick and it will help with the baking. So technique what to do is you take your rolling pin, the top part of the dough and just let the rolling pin guide you. Bring the dish in front of you and find the end and match it here and just roll. Okay, so if you want to make your pie look a little bit more pizzazz, try to make So, after long preparations and a very long recipe to actually make, this is what we have. Focus. This is what we have. My first pie with homemade uh, dough and also um, homemade filling. So, first pie I've ever made. This has been the fourth episode of Arthur's Cooking Show. And I'll get right back to you when this is done. See ya. Let's put it in the oven. Open it up. And three, two, and center it. There we go. That pie will be baking for 30 minutes at 180 Celsius which is in Fahrenheit that much. And that has been Arthur's cooking show. I'll get right back to you when it's done baking. Meanwhile. Okay, it's time to take it out of the oven. It is ready. Oh. Woo. That looks beautiful. Let's take it out. I think I should take the rack out first and actually take the rack instead because better idea. Look at that. That looks beautiful. So So this has been Cooking with Arthur, the special edition, fourth episode. This is going right into this tummy. You know how to make this. I believe in you. If you like this kind of content, please press like. If you have anything to say down in the comments below, you can. Please subscribe, hit that red button, and don't forget to hit that bell so you get notified each time I make a new video. Bye-bye.